Kathy Vick, deeply awake, chats 2017. Well, here I am again. But um, this has always been a forum for me to document things that are brand new. And Lordy, the last few couple days has been nothing if not brand new. Brand new. And uh, just uh, the, the intensity has been increased, but the um, just the gentleness has been increased too. Um, and yesterday I had a friend over, my sweet friend, I've talked to her about her before in this series. And um, it was great, it was a win-win, because I needed somebody to help me while I um, did this really hard task and um, she got free clothes out of it. So it worked out really good for everybody. And um, so everybody's happy. But uh, during that, I, I was so struck with the absence of uh, stress. And just how everything was really just relaxed and okay. And there was no need to push. And it was in the right time, right moment. It was just and it went on and on and on. And I, I just, I, I got, you know, bits of information of just, you know, this is part of the idea is just really getting used to being in other people's presence and finding it enjoyable. Okay. All right. So that's good. That's kind of a coming together and a reconciliation of um, behavioral patterns that didn't um, that serve very well but uh, it is not going to do me very well the next leg uh, so this quandary I used to have about um, I felt like it was some sort of um, I don't know moral failing almost that I could feel such unconditional sweet gushy firm clear, benevolent, compassionate love toward patients. And I couldn't hold that toward other people. Boy, that bothered me. Yikes. But then, I mean, but you know, okay, so in the, as in an uh, institution, if um, somebody's a schemer or, it, you know, having having trouble just being nice to people well it's just considered part of the part of the pathology one of the reasons it landed him here or her here and um part of the mix and uh you medicate what you can medicate and then you environmentally treat what you need to treat environmentally and you talk out the rest <laughs> but um, you know it's usually the reverse you want to just see what's going on before you medicate because you want to find out you know what's going on anyway bottom line bothered the hell out of me and I felt like I was not a very good person if I was so judgmental with people who didn't have a wristband on and I was somehow always was judging them and uh, like, you know, but po po mostly it was just step up to the plate and be decent so I don't have to be a nurse. You know, let's just play as equals. And so very little of it is, is that. So, um, you know, through a long series of uh, object lessons and maturation, um, I think I've, I, I really stumbled upon something and it was, it was I think this morning, I don't remember f for sure. But I have a, uh, this friend who um, all manner of wild things happen to her, and yet she remains somewhat unaffected. And uh, she just she just beams her her song. She's very clear, and yet uh, she has things that, in her life that are or chaotic or what have you and um, and I realized something in a flash 
that uh, you know everything that I've been really uh, pounding on and and considering really important basically how we treat each other that's on the outside I don't know it just hit me I saw you know this this person and then all of these situations and um, and this person so unaffected and all these all these crazy things going on around and I, I really got it that how enmeshed I've been and how um, there really has been a confusion and um, a, a real investment and perhaps not the not the best way of spending the capital because um, I am that way in an institution you go run, go run your stuff. It's fine. It's fine. And I've deeply resented having to do the same thing on the outs. That's been an issue. It's like yeah, you get your shit together enough to. I mean, but no. And I would always be struck in the especially work in psych, especially when I'm behind the desk, fielding requests. I think to myself, you know, the the. The only difference between this person and me now is this desk. We could very easily be in line at King Supers, or he could be my coworker. And he's got some place to go after this. So um, we all run into problems. We all have crises, and we all have ways in which we cope. Some of them are not the most. Uh, I don't know. They're self injurious. And f always for me, I mean, mental illness always, I would consider it a really a disease of relationship. That's all. There's something within that, that, that causes disease in relationship, in translation. But that's not always, I mean, that's one of the tracers, it's just a sign. It is, it is impacted by disordered thought. But um, <clears throat> I think that what I'm really truly getting at is that um, this divine neutrality that uh, Sandra Walter has talked about, beautiful, beautiful meditation on that, is something that I've wanted to achieve but have been feeling very guilty about doing so in uh, the general population, so to speak, because um, I have felt responsible for other people's pain and misunderstanding when in relationship with them. It just gets more confusing. <laughs> Very confusing. What's mine and what's yours? What am I responsible for here? And um, if you're in pain, is that my fault? well and if so okay but if not and it's not so much fault it's just it is it is the that's the thing when you get into that realm it's just it's all cloak and dagger and black and white and right and wrong and you hurt me and I hurt you oh my god oh my god and there is such certainly another way and I kind of saw through into that other way when I realized that there's this hub and then there can be all kinds of nonsense but it's like them doing their thing it's them doing their thing interfacing but them doing their thing and so I think this is how I achieve the the first layer is realizing what that really means and that there is a division and by so doing perhaps reassigning some things in reality so that I'm less troubled and a little more effective. So it's a really fascinating process. And I've told a couple of people, I just feel absolutely, I just feel different. Meaning, I feel like a different person. I just, I've, I've just, who, I'm, I feel different. I'm doing things differently. And so I'll end with this. It's so cute. 
So, um, all right, we used to live in the mountains, and then uh, like 20 miles uh, um, up a canyon above Boulder. And so in addition to being the boss and being a mom and being all these things, I was also the laundry person. And so living in a remote place, having to haul your laundry, <laughs> didn't get done very often. So I got in the habit of then of um, having more than one, you know, thing that I liked and having plenty of the foundations and, uh, and you know, realizing that that's one way of doing it. And I can see how that's really stuck. And I've realized just lately that some of my inertia with um, with just beautifying my home, so to speak, has had to do. It's just like wow, all these all these realizations has um, had to do with um, <laughs> with just sort of half-assing it. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. And I've really looked at it the last few days. I really have trouble walking. I mean, there's a lot of pain. And it, so life for me has to be easy and convenient. It has to be kind of well, well engineered for it to flow nicely and for me to conserve my steps, basically. And uh, my life is anything but easy because I have uh, amassed too much. And uh, so, with the help of my friend, um, I have gone through all of my, well, I'm halfway, I got like a quarter of it left, through my wardrobe. And I've gotten rid of like, I think right now it's six, no, seven um, trash bags of clothing that we're going to donate to the Goodwill, which I shop at. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> if, if I really question it, I can go back and find it again. But uh, anyhow, the point here is that um, it, there I do feel appreciably different, and I couldn't have done it without having had a shift because this was a, this was a, actually a problem that was rooted uh, l long ago, like in the '90s. And so um, it's like, oh, okay. Well, part of it is just habit, part, but part of it is, yeah, that'll do. That mentality of yeah, that'll do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get to that later. Yeah, that'll do. This is a mentality that I developed a while ago. And um, it's out of expedience. It's out of being a full-time mom and a full-time single, single mom and a full-time worker. And having absolutely, you know, zero time to prep and plan and, and nurture and all that. And yeah, it'll do, it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. And so, you know, I appreciate that uh, just as there are changes uh, in the life cycle at in youth, and Erickson has certainly outlined um, some of those conflicts, is what he called them. I don't know if this is a conflict, but it certainly is a milestone as we age when our kids go from full dependence to independence. And I would suggest that that happens mentally at quite a young age. They are actually independent units all along. But then they begin to realize that, and um, there's a pushback. And it's basically, you know, just, you know, first attempts at breaking coding. Good luck with that. But um, anyhow, the point here is that... Um, I think that may be a big part of uh, the uh, change in countenance I'm seeing. Um, and so I'm, I'm very pleased about that um, because there is a... Uh, so really I started this because I wanted to say uh, it's really the last couple of days I, I've been struck with, wow, I can't believe I had I had it like that. And yet I had so much correct. And yet I still couldn't get that. Wow. I was really hung up on that one. Gee. 
like that. It doesn't mean I go around, you know, in, uh, emitting a, a, a wave of um, glitter and rose petals. This is certainly not like that. I mean, yesterday I did my, my wardrobe thing, and I tell you, the result of this is I just decided I have a lot of items in my home, wardrobe and otherwise, where I look at it and go, yeah, but... And I thought, okay, that's going to be the metric then. If it's a yeah, but, it's going. It has to be a yeah, oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's where I'm going. No more yeah, buts. Mm -mm. And it comes from being poor and feeling poor and knowing that you don't know how secure you are and so you have to plan ahead and keep things around and uh, I can tell you that that served me well as a mom so um, these are coping strategies that I see changing and shifting and I, I can't help but think this has got to be another developmental stage because I've seen my friends go through it when their kids finally leave home that's another huge one huge one and then negotiating that particular relationship because those are uh, demand different parts of your brain that's for sure that's faux show and we all have our own uh, spin on relationship especially family relationships but what I'm getting at is that as a human being ages there are events that occur internally and externally and as a result I would hope and think the chances are great for deeper insight and for um, I mean isn't that what we talk about oh it's so great to be old people are so cool when they're old well how do you get there except getting you know like the velveteen rabbit you get not beaten up but I don't know you get all your fur rubbed off and a lot of things happen to you and then real, I kind of realized that, you know, reactivity is probably, you know, well, I've, I've just recently been, had it demonstrated, um, just, you know, once again, what I am, what I'm capable of, so it's pretty, pretty powerful. <laughs> and um, and I'm, I'm really glad to be able to, to do these things, and I'm not... Uh, I'm not moaning, wailing and moaning that it's so hard and these extraordinary things are being asked of me. No, it's just the nature of the beast. It's something I can do by agreement and request. So, um, I don't know. It's a, it's a good life and I'm pleased to be living it. <laughs> So um, I don't know. That's the that's the deal. Friday was a tremendously big day energetically. Holy God! I don't know if you guys felt it on that day, or if it was before or after. But my oh my, when they said there was going to be a three day gateway, they weren't kidding. They being I don't know disembodied entities all over the world saying, "Hey, hey, tell everybody, heads up." It's going to be a big one. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> so um, that's where I'm at. And so I know that it's what against the made-up rules I made to not come. Oh, well, so what? I feel like it. So there. So today I have another delicious day planned. Oh. And uh, yesterday I did. I got into bed like at 5.30. I was cooked. But I did a lot of physical labor that day, and I, I really felt like just indulging myself it was so sweet. And today, um, we're going to get some great things done. I'm so excited. And I really, really enjoy, I really enjoy just having a friend around. And it's really okay to not talk. And it's really okay to just sit there and feel appreciative. And I feel that way with my son. And so to end, that's what I want to end with. I really, really, really wanted to get to the place where I felt the same way about everybody that I felt with patience. Mm. 
And that's beginning to happen. I didn't want to do it before because it's so heartbreaking. It just, you gotta be able to carry a lot of paradox to do it and to tolerate a lot of shades of gray. But I was driving home on Friday and we were on Colfax and there were these three people and I was looking at them and I felt into them and I realized, you know, each of them, each individually were living their own karmic lives, their lessons, their path. Each of them, these masters, but maybe, and you know, in, in complete and in utter unawareness of that. So they have these lives, and they depend on other people, and and they have worries and all that stuff. And those worries and all that makes them so beautiful. And I'm thinking that at the at the stoplight, and then I looked at one other person on the other side of the street, and I felt the same way. I thought, ooh, this feels so good. I really like how this feels. This is a, this is, this makes sense. So I guess that brings up the question about the first layer. And maybe the differentiation of the second. But I, I think this is a powerful enough and, and helpful enough discussion of, um, I think, uh, the focus of the observer and the focus of the uh, energy. I feel a, a much different uh, energetic like tone or it's not a tone, it's more like motion. And I had really been sort of puzzled by how the energy was always go, went going this way, push, 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 push. And it's simply just not doing that anymore. I don't even see that model anymore. I see a, a, a really cool um, pond with, you know, the stars reflected in it. It's really beautiful. I don't even see the model of the... I used to see a model of I, what could only be uh, described as uh, an atom. And I've, I've had been inside those visions now for a long time and have done a lot with moving energy and playing with energy and getting it to go both ways and um, getting it more pl movable, pliable, not only in my mind but also in my body. But this is different. Hmm. And I'm very comfortable with it, so that's good. All right, so um, I've I've got much to do today. I'm really excited about it, and I'm we're sort of carrying Sam to Evo. We're we're getting excited for him and trying to make it as pleasant and joyful as possible. So that's our mission, and um, hopefully he'll join in. We're going to go to the bins today, but if not, then we're just going to pull them along and uh, our little tribe is doing well We're um, lo because we're loving each other and talking with each other and honoring each other's wishes so it's a pretty amazing thing and um, I'm proud to be part of it and uh, I'm proud to call both of those young people friend so all right, well, this is a long video, but um, it fits right in, and I feel good about it. I think this is a significant enough change and significant enough aha moments to warrant a visit. And now we'll get out of my day in my hippie dress. Hee <laughs> 2424. I've got a lot of hippie clothes, and they're all the ones I love, so I'm keeping them. So, um... It's the yes buts that are going. And you you'd be surprised what's in those what's in those bags. Um, I'm really ex <laughs> really <laughs> I'm giggling because I'm thinking about when I encounter them at the stores. <laughs> Go, yep, yeah, hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I threw you back. I hope you get a good home. Bye. <laughs> All right.
That's all I know. I hope that you are um, managing these uh, these energies, which are intense. Uh, knowing that you are uh, strong enough to handle whatever is being given to you. And that is part of the shift. Um, and that you are not without help. It's a breath away. All right. Namaste.